in our last video we were able to add our paleo payment mobile payments as our gateway here and you can see it's functioning with its icon but today i want to add a couple of extra settings or fields or form a form in here near this payment text that we actually get from our settings when we go to manage and then just make this description here that we do have so i'm going to add some fields here for us to actually validate and have the customer input all their details in here so first and foremost uh, we need to go back to our code we'll look in our plugin which is uh, the paleo right here we're going to create a new file which we shall call paleo check out description fields and we shall copy this and then make a new file inside our includes done and then we'll start it off with our php and then next we're going to use is a woocommerce filter which is a very descriptive in nature called WooCommerce Gateway Description and WooCommerce has done a very good job about naming filters and the different hooks that it has and making it very easy for us to actually tap or even just look out and say what if I tried this, what if I look this, when you're googling it makes it very easy for you. For our callback we're going to have TechiePress, Paleo, then Description, Fields, so I'll add the P that's missing here, copy this, we shall add a priority of 20 because we don't need to do this immediately on firing and we're going to pass in two arguments. The two arguments are actually very easy so I'll just correct this for coding's purpose. Then we'll pass in two arguments. The next thing we will do is add our function here, take a press with that and then we shall add our two brackets here. Now the two arguments that we actually get for free, one is called a description which we shall return at the end and then it's all, we're also going to pass in the payment ID so that will help us figure out a couple of things to make it very easy. First of all we need to return this description to make sure nothing is broken and then what we're going to do is we're going to add an image then we're going to add some forms to our field. Now we need to get the payment ID that we are looking for and our payment ID for the paleo in our gateway was actually paleo so we get it and we're going to say if our current id is not paleo so not equal to the payment id if it's not that then we're just going to return the description immediately and stop anything else but if it's the payment id then we're going to do some other things so in this case we are going to actually start adding some html but before we do that we need to use the ob start to buffer up some content so we're going to do that and then at the end of the day we are going to say our description should actually have some other things appended to it and we're going to do the ob get clean to say get all the buffered content and then just add it to our description and echo it out. Now what kind of content are we going to have here? We're going to echo and we're going to have an image. I'll first terminate this. So I'm going to add an image just to show us what could happen and we're going to add the source. Then we shall come in here with our single quotes to add some PHP and I'm going to come back to our payment gateway and just copy this plugins URL to do something different. Come back to our fields and then paste this in here. So when we save this let's go and see what we've done so far. If we reload we see our cash on delivery shows its description and it's okay. When we click our paleo our mobile payments we actually get a big image here showing off uh, what we've been uh, doing and talking about. So of course we can style this differently, we can target it and add a div to it to make it look a little bit neater. So I'll just echo another div here, echo a div and I'll give it an inline style. Eventually I'm going to add a proper CSS file to help us deal with our CSS. What we're going to do is just say this has a display of block so that it doesn't have any elements around it. It has a display of block but it will have a width it will just be 150 pixels and the height will be auto to make it uh, workable. So that is looking good. We terminate this at the end and then we're going to echo our closing div. Terminate this, come back and then close off our div. We'll save this 
come back, reload. Yeah, so this is looking nice. That's what we wanted to do. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we want to add some fields to our particular description. Now, already WooCanvas does sanitization. It does the cleaning. It does all the things, the validation, the sanitization. WooCanvas does it out of the box for us. So we don't need to reinvent the wheel. So what I'm going to do is actually just use the WooCanvas form field that we've used before. So WooCanvas uh, form field. And I have a video that goes in expanse of how you can use these particular form fields. And I have added them to the description and also to the links that you see up there. So we're going to have a number of fields. The first field that we're going to have is actually going to be called, let's say, phone number. So we'll give it an ID of phone number. And then it's going to come with an array of details. It's going to actually be just an input field. So the type will be, I need to wrap this in single quotes. So the type will be a text field. And then when we have our text field, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a label. And this label will be, um, of course, we shall leave it translatable to the different languages that are available. And we're going to say this label is going to be payment form number. And then next thing we're going to do is add our text domain, which we already quoted as paleo uh, from the other pieces here, paleo payments. Woo. So copy this, come back, add it here. And then we shall have a class. Let's say if we wanted to add more styling to the fields, so we can have a class. By default, we shall use the WooCommerce version of our classes. Now, for classes in WooCommerce, they actually are an array. So you don't have just, even if you had one, you have to wrap it under an array. So we shall have the default form row and then comma, add two more single quotes, form row wide. That is to make it go all across the whole expanse or the field. And then what we're going to do is we're going to require it. So we'll add a required and then we shall say that is true. So that's the first field that we're going to add. Let's save this, come back and check what we've done. When I reload, come back to the paleo, you'll see that we have a big beautiful box here that requires us to be filled in. It has that. It has everything as it should be. So if we try to pay and order out, these other fields are filled in and then try to place an order. It actually works so nothing is broken and that is good. So I want to make sure I am passing this along this block. So I'll just style this. I don't like the very large field. So I'll save this and then come back to our shop. Come back to our shop quickly. Orders, view. And then come down here and you'll see the box is actually quite small. It fits, it doesn't look so nice. So maybe I'll increase this and say this is 300. But I don't want the image to be so big. So I'll increase this width to about to 300 and save this. So it's 300, save it, reload. We have our field, looks a little bit better. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is add another form. So I'll duplicate this to make it a quicker process. And we're going to call that maybe paying network. Assuming the phone number we're going to add for that particular gateway has, we have quite a number of supported networks that are aggregated. So the type will be a select. Uh, we'll say payment network, leave it translatable. Uh, it will also span all across. We're going to give it a bunch of options. So we'll use our single quotes, the options, add our array and then inside here have an array of items and that with a comma because that's what WordPress requires and we're going to have the first field will actually be empty and then we shall have that also translatable so let me just copy this and say the first network will be select a network, phone network. That will be our first option. The next option we shall have is we'll go down here and we'll add, in my case, we have MTN mobile. So I'll just add this and I'll say this is MTN mobile money. And then I'll duplicate this and say we also have Airtel money. So I'll just change this and say this is Airtel money. So with this done, let's go back and look at this. I'll reload. And we'll see we have our payments, our phone payments, and then we can choose whether we want Airtel or we want MTN. So of course, when we select that, we'll have this ID or that. This was none. 
to show that none was selected. So that's the ID for or the name for this field. So uh, we have this and this is ready. So that's how we add form fields to a particular description or a payment gateway. We have to isolate it and know that we're working only with that ID. Do some clean code here by using the, the buffering and then end up returning a description. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and consider subscribing if you have not. Watch the rest of the videos that are at the end here so that you can see more things that are inside this series that I have planned out for you. So enjoy yourself.